Okay, this is the second video in a series called Two-Piece Puzzle. In the first video, we created a document and made our first puzzle piece. In this video, we're going to create the second of two puzzle pieces. So if you have not watched and created the first puzzle piece, stop this video and go back and do that first. Okay, so for those of you who are still with us, we need to open that same document that we made our first piece in. So we're not going to create a new document. We're going to open the original document. So here's our original piece that we created. And we're going to create the mate piece to go with this. Now, what we are looking at, if you look down in the corner here, we are in Part Studio 1. What we want to do is create a second Part Studio. So see this plus sign right here? Click on that. And we are going to create Part Studio. So this is Part Studio 2. And now what we're going to do I can't remember if I made that first one on the top or the front. We're going to go ahead and make this one on the top plane. So I'm going to turn towards my top plane. And now I'm going to click on Sketch. And I'm going to use my rectangle tool. And I'm going to start at the origin and drag out a rectangle. And I'm going to make this rectangle. Um, my keyboard's not working, so I need to bring on this keyboard. Uh, I'm going to make this first one 1.5. Enter. 1.5. Enter. Okay, now I'm going to accept that sketch and I'm going to extrude it zero point seven five. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't selected it yet. There we go. So now it has extruded. Okay, I'll accept that. Now, if I recall right, I got to go back and look at Part Studio 1 for a minute. Okay, so this one, I've created a piece that's going to go on top of that. If I put something in this corner, then when I flip it over, Okay, I know what I need to do. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is select the, f the top of this rectangle. We're going to make a second sketch. And I'm going to use the rectangle tool again. And this time, I'm going to find that corner up there. And I'm going to drag out another square. Okay. And we are going to enter some dimensions for this. 0 0.75. Enter. 0 0.75. Enter. OK. So now we've got that 1 cube square there. We're going to extrude it. So we need to accept this sketch. And now I'm going to click on that sketch. I want it to highlight that sketch for me. And now I'm going to extrude that. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Enter. Okay. 
And now we'll accept that. And I believe in Part Studio One, I um, use the fillet tool with you guys. So let's open that up. And we're going to, I believe we made it 0 0.1. 0 0.1 enter okay now if I hover over the the square here it's going to do all four edges at once there so there it's done those I'll hover over this square does all four of those edges now if you didn't want this curve here then you would just do it edge by edge, but I'm fine with that. I don't think that will be a problem for us. Let's get all the edges that we can. Just work your way around and make sure, I'm gonna get rid of this keyboard now. There's one that still needs doing. This one still needs doing. This one looks like that one. Looks like there's one there. Okay. I think I maybe have all of them. Okay. So there's our second piece. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create an assembly and join these two pieces together into a completed puzzle. It's just going to show you a drawing of that, basically. But it, it helps you make sure that the pieces you're designing to work together work together in this virtual environment before we print them out and make them real. So that's it for this video. Oh, let's go ahead and change the color. OK. so. I'm going to accept those fillets. And now let's just uh, click on top here. OK. Um, I need to remember how to do this. I think if I hover over it and I right click, then I believe it's edit appearance of part one and we made the other one red so I'm going to make this one blue there we go okay and that will be it for this video so let's see you in the next video